Hey guys, so the one question I have to Rudy Chan, especially about Magic the Gathering, is if you hate it so much, and it does seem like you really hate either Wizard of the Coast or Magic itself, since Magic 30th, which he was one of the most extremely negative people about Magic the Gathering and its future, and that was over six months ago he continues to sell magic to his patreons so if things are this bad why don't you just cold turkey it you already have sorcery you have meta poo you have flesh and blood um you even have pokemon if you wanted it i don't really understand the you know i cold turkey stopped buying from my distributor i ended the contract um, I no longer even have the option of buying magic cards I still have the option to buy Pokemon cards but I no longer even have the option of buying magic the gathering cards it was a very destructive period when you're spending five to ten thousand dollars on magic cards a month um, that is very very bad no matter how much money you make because you get into this addiction of opening and so on Again, hopefully you guys won't see that many more magic opening packs. Maybe we'll do a few more. But I am really trying to... Um, I'm trying to stop that right now. So back to what I, I need to say. And I'm going to say this very clearly. If you don't like something and you don't yourself feel like you should be buying something and you yourself have been a record for losing that, why would you continue to sell that thing? You know, it's almost very similar to... Uh, other addicted things gambling drugs you name it um, where you know it's bad but you continue to sell it like you know a drug dealer knows that they shouldn't take their own drugs pe get high on your own supply because then you won't have any supply you're in the business of selling drugs not taking drugs a uh, a very unsuccessful business person will will take all their drugs or all their supplies and so on uh, a very successful business person would be able to figure out how to sell the things to other people and get them addicted while them they themselves not being addicted so it's a, a pretty crazy thing in my personal opinion that if he thinks hasbro is doing such a bad job and these other games are doing so much better, then why do you continue to sell Magic? Um, I'm not really going to understand that. It's, it's something that I uh, don't really understand. Uh, maybe he can clarify that to me, but I, I never understood it. If you think Magic is going to down this road or via Amazon, and the, the, I mean, his videos on Magic are, are objectively more negative than my videos. Um, they reach more people, they create more negativity because they reach more people and he has many more viewers and subscribers than I do. Um, they are in inherently much more negative even if the whole content, even if the content is identical. Um, it just has more of a negative impact. I just say that, you know, why do you continue to sell something where, where you have not liked that something since Magic 30th? Um, my decision was pretty simple. My decision was, okay, I have this contract until the end of the year. There is a buyout of it, um, and they will. I talk to them, and they will release me from the contract if I spend X amount of dollars. There's a Lord of the Rings set my friend is very into. He ended up buying slightly less than expected, but it was more. I mean, it was way more than um, the whole contract, and now the contract is gone, and now I'm not going to buy any more Magic cards. I, I feel like the direction of Magic the Gathering is such that they know that you will buy and the only way to stop them from doing more dumb stuff is to stop selling and stop buying it. Like At, at some point in, in the decision, it's almost like when somebody goes on strike, they're not striking for their current players. The, the, play, the current players are effed when they go on strike. They're striking for the future players. And it's hard to... Think about it from that perspective that what you're doing today, not buying magic cards, not giving into that addiction is actually going to help magic be a better game long term. So it, it's it's odd. It's strange. It's something that I 
you know, honestly, I'm never going to really understand and something that I had to deal with myself where you have to make a decision. And it's a decision that every customer, everybody has to make. Like I'm not, I'm no, as a store, we're no different than a customer, right? Instead of buying from a store, we buy from a distributor, just like you buy from a store. So every party needs to make their own decisions. You can say, I hate Magic 30th, I hate Magic, I don't want to buy Magic, oh, I lost money in Magic, and then continue to sell Magic to the Patreons, and, and that's great, that's great. Um, because that's the whole system of the Patreons is made, right? Based on selling, majority of them were Magic the Gathering fans. Look, at some point in time, you got to say no. Um, and you can't keep saying no, and then... Your, your actions speak louder than your words. I, my action is, A, I have said publicly that I don't like the direction where magic... I've said a lot of the same things Rudy has said, but I've actually executed on it. I no longer support them. I still buy Pokemon. I still have a contract with Pokemon. Uh, but I don't have a contract with magic. And, and maybe I'm just a little blimp in the radar, but I'm still on that radar. If Alpha Investment said no to Magic and he did Sorcery and Flesh and Blood and Meta Poo and, and these other games he promotes all the time, I don't think, uh, I think Wizard of Coast would notice. Wait a second. One of our biggest content creators, who even though is negative, has stopped paying us. But it's one thing to say, oh man, I, I hate this chocolate, and then you continue to buy it. Well, I mean, if you're the chocolate maker, why would you not continue to raise the prices of the chocolate? Um, no matter what, it's almost like Salt Bay and so on. I mean, the prices are astronomical because he doesn't need that many people to pay. He just needs one or two people to pay it. If your conviction, I think Rudy's conviction is this, that Magic the Gathering needs a wake-up call, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't sell it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I being too, too uh, unfair to Rudy Chan? Hi, <laughs> guys. And remember, Rudy Chan's a multi-millionaire. He could retire today. Um, and in fact, I believe he has like a kitchen business that works with the government and makes far more money than Magic. So it's not like Magic is his only stream of income. In fact, I probably would say, may, knowing Rudy is probably the least profitable stream of income. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.